On June 24, 1993, 14-year-old Jennifer Lee Ertman and 16-year-old Elizabeth Christine Pena were brutally attacked and murdered by a gang in Houston, Texas. The girls were walking home from a pool party and took a shortcut along railroad tracks, where they encountered six gang members, including Peter Cantu, Jose Medellin, Derek O'Brien, Efrain Perez, Raul Villarreal, and Venancio Medellin. The gang members had just initiated Villarreal into their gang after a violent ceremony. When the girls passed by, they were assaulted and sexually assaulted by the gang members for over an hour. Realizing that the girls would be capable of identifying them, Cantu ordered the members to kill the girls. He told Venancio Medellin to stay behind because he was too little to watch. The other gang members forced the girls into a wooded area. As Ertman was murdered, Pena was forced to watch her friend's death as other gang members held a ligature around her neck. At first, Pena desperately attempted to appease her abusers as she wept, offering her phone number so they could get together. She then attempted to flee. In response, Cantu tackled and repeatedly kicked the girl in her face and body, dislodging three teeth and fracturing several ribs. Both girls were then strangled to death. After the murders, the gang members divided the stolen valuables and bragged about their crimes. The perpetrators were arrested, and Cantu, Jose Medellin, O'Brien, Perez, and Villarreal were sentenced to death. Later, due to a Supreme Court ruling banning executions for crimes committed by individuals under 18, Perez and Villarreal had their death sentences commuted to life in prison. O'Brien was executed in 2006, while Jose Medellin was executed in 2008. Cantu was executed in 2010. Venancio Medellin, who testified against the others, received a 40-year prison sentence for his involvement. He is scheduled for release in 2034.